Hello guys, welcome to another Toyota 4Runner video. Today I'm going to show you how to install the LED light bulbs for the fog lights on this 2016 Toyota 4Runner. Thanks again Auxiro for sending me a pair of fog light LED lights. I've been using Auxiro products for a while now and I really like their products. I have another video how to install the low beams LED lights from now zero but this time we are installing the fog lights right now it's still daytime but that's how the light looks it is very dim at night I don't really like the brightness of this OEM light so we are upgrading it for our zero LED lights so let's open the package guys and let's see what is inside here and inside here it comes a pair of these LED lights uh, you guys can see the really nice quality seal spray light too I like the aluminum body on this the connector is plug and play and the tools that we are going to use guys is an impact gun if you guys have one and if you don't don't worry about it we can always use a 3A ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket and then we are going to use one of these pin removers and of course our fog light LED provided by Auxiro. So now let's move to the driver's side of the truck and let's start by just moving the tire all the way to the inside part. So you gotta start the engine, move the steering wheel all the way to the right and that way guys we are going to have more access to the liner part. So what we're gonna do guys if you see the liner has one ball over there, two three bolts so let's remove our three bolts one two three and now we are going to remove the two bolts under here we are going to remove that one over there to remove the liner guys you are just going to pull on this so pull out and then just work it out all the way around and then you will see this one will have more space so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just going to start the engine and then turn the wheel to the other side now that I turn the wheel to the other side I do have plenty of space guys now is like bend this a little bit like this kind of hold it with this sway bar over there and then we have lots of space right here guys to work look at this is a lot of space so the driver's side looks like that guys in the passenger side the fog light has a plastic cover that you don't have to remove but you have to kind of go under but, but this one doesn't have the plastic cover so it's gonna be easier than the passenger side so what we're gonna do next is we are just going to disconnect it so we're just gonna press on this right here so press in and then pull out and then to remove the light guys it's gonna be also pretty simple you're just going to grab the light from here and you're gonna turn it counterclockwise there it is and then you're just gonna pull out so, so pretty simple to do and now we are going to install the new LED light bulb right there and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start like from this side and then you just kind of gotta move it around until you feel like it goes in there it is it is in and then once you feel this is like flash and in then you're just gonna turn this clockwise and that's it uh, it's pretty tight you can always pull a little bit just to make sure everything is tight and then we are just going to plug this back guys and before installing all the fender liner back we just want to make sure the light bulb is working so we are going to turn on the lights and make sure this one works so let's turn on the lights and check and there it is guys it is working really nice so now let's just install the fender liner bag so now we are going to install the liner bag but just let me remove this to show you better you don't have to remove it but the clip is like that right and as you guys see it over there it has like a groove so that's where our liner has to go so we are going to do that 
all around like also right there so let me just put this bug right here this one came off but you guys can have an idea how it looks you can always go like that too and as you guys see it the liner is all the way in now we just gotta install the three 10 millimeter bolts back and then we're gonna do that same thing right here it's just gonna kind of align it to the holes and now we are going to install these bolts back so very simple job to do guys now let's just drive at night time and see how it looks it looks really nice with the fog lights on I'm pretty sure these lights will be really nice when I'm like off-roading or in a very foggy day even rainy day and that's how it looks at night time guys I really like that amber color on the fog lights and the combination with the headlights it's really nice see you next video guys bye bye